In this video, we're going to see how the new disposable tips for the Picasso light can be used for crown troughing. You can see the two fibers, the disposable tips are on the right hand side, and here's a fiber optic cable with a blue cover cap. The tips come in 90 degrees on the right, 45 on the left, and varying lengths. The Picasso light unit is seen here with the tips and the fiber, which is plugged into the back of the unit, as you can see. The tips are removed from pre-sterilized from the package, the blue cover cap is removed and the tip is simply placed onto the top of the unit. In this case we had some buckle restorations where gingivectomy was done and some uh, amalgam restorations and occlusal decay which were replaced. There was an occlusal restoration very deep on the second molar, a fractured first molar which had a full crown preparation. You can see the, res the amalgam restoration removed, cracks on the distal marginal ridge were observed, and here are the restorations on the buckle completed of the premolars and canine. You can see the gingivectomy done there. Etch and, uh, was placed, you can see the isolite, core buildup and resin restorations, and the crown prep completed here for lava crown. At this point, we're thinking about using the laser. Uh, the the um, fiber uh, was picked. The tips were 10 millimeters in length. You can see it's pre-cleaved here and ready to be initiated. Here's a video, and you can see that we use 1.8 watts pulsed with a 90 degree tip of 10 millimeters in length. They come in 5 and 10 and 15 millimeters in length. We start initiating the tip and we start um, crown troughing going very slightly into the sulcus, moving very slow with brush like strokes to gently <clears throat> remove the gingival sulcus. Every time that a little bit of debris piles up on the tip, you stop and use a wet gauze, not alcohol, but just a wet gauze to remove the debris that gathers onto the tip short brush like strokes. You're not trying to go deep into the sulk, it's just half a millimeter or so. If you notice the angulation of the tip, the tip is always at uh, about 60 degrees to the margin. You can see in fact in the distal that perhaps I had not created enough space for the diode, which is a 400 micron tip, to get in between to really create a nice sulcus there. If you notice a little bit of charring, you should lower your energy settings. In this case, you can see that uh, there's not a lot of charring occurring. We're progressively moving circumferentially around the tooth, again, constantly angling towards the tooth. And every time that a small amount of debris picks up on the tip, we stop and remove it with the wet gauze. We're now on the facial aspect of the tooth. And again, looking through the operating microscope at around uh, 5.3 times magnification. Now as we come to the mesial in a second, the last little bit of the mesial, you'll see me bump up the magnification here to eight times magnification to complete the troughing. What I'm looking for are small areas where perhaps the tissue is still on the margin, like on the distal here, where I just want to remove that tissue so that the impression is picked up clearly uh, by the polyvinyl siloxane impression material. Moving now to the mesial, Again, I'm uh, doing short brush strokes uh, to create a separation of the tissue from the margin so the lab can clearly di discern where the margin ends and where the tissue begins. Times you'll see tissue tags which can be removed with short direct brush strokes to remove these tissue tags and uh, eventually either using hydrogen peroxide and ultra dense syringe or a wet cotton pellet to remove any um, uh, tissue that has uh, been sloughed off and is white in appearance. At this point, the troughing took about three minutes. You can see there's no bleeding. The tissue appears healthy in color. And we're getting close to a point where we can uh, take an impression. If you feel that lateral distension is needed, you can use materials like Exposil or Traxodent to accomplish this task. You now be able to see the stills in, uh, of the final procedures, both at low and high mag, before the impression was taken. Here's a clear view after the impression was taken, and finally with the provisional in place. This is Dr. Glenn Van Ass saying goodbye and keep lazing. It's amazing.